it's Erica back on the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel and today we're gonna make some tulips. So we're gonna get the Athena Meraki Flora Paradise out and you can see here that it's five tulip sets and they all stick together. So you basically get five pieces cut out each time you go through your die cutting machine so you don't have to go through it 657 times in order to get a nice big bunch of tulips. So I've cut out 15 actually, and uh, I you, each uh, time you go through with the leaves, you get five leaves and I've cut out, I don't know, 20 maybe? Quite a lot, because I figured more leaves than tulips. Makes sense, right? Doesn't it? And with the stems, you get three in each go. And it's just so handy that they all stick together. Because imagine those being one one by one. It just, it's just a recipe for disaster, isn't it? You're gonna end up losing one. So we are gonna be adding color to these using some Distress Oxide inks. So I've grabbed a Squeezed and Lemonade, Wild Honey, Tea Dye, Kitsch Flamingo, Abandoned Coral, and also Mowed Lawn for the leaves and the stems. And I'm going to be keeping, a, well, I'm gonna try to make a less of a mess than usual. So I'm going to use a little bit of uh, acetate. So this is super cheap acetate. It's more like overhead acetate sheets. It's not like, you know, nice fancy acetate sheets. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I figured, you know, it will be just so much easier to clean up. So if I need to move on, I can just pick up the whole sheet and just go, go, go. But um, what I hadn't taken into account was that to keep my flowers nice and colorful and not get my fingerprints on them, I, yeah, I wasn't really sure how to do this. At first I toyed with the idea of maybe just ink blending first and then cutting them out, but then I thought, well, no, because then I don't really have much control over what to do. But I mean, this turned out cute, right? But it's like really, really pale, really pale. So um, yeah, um, I tried with another one to just kind of add a little bit more color and I'm trying to hold it down. But this was getting, you know, this was getting boring fast because it just wasn't working. It wasn't smooth. It wasn't, it wasn't a good thing anyway. So I figured I had to do something. So I came up with the idea of using a little bit of a non-permanent adhesive tape straight onto the flower head. Now, when I put this onto my acetate sheet, I thought I was going to have to do this on each and every single one of the tulip heads. This worked so much better. So, so, so much better. Um, it turns out that when I uh, then picked up the, the tulip, it, the tape stayed onto the acetate sheet. So I could just pick them up, add color, and then move on, so on and so on. It worked out so well and such a cheap and affordable little hack too. Like, can we give it a little bit of a whoop whoop? Yeah? So this made adding color to the rest of the tulips like easy breezy, lemon squeezy, peasy, yes. It was, it was all of those things. It was so easy. And I kind of got on a roll here with the yellow and then I realized, oh, I probably need to add a little bit other colors because you don't want to have just the same color, do you? So I did realize here that using two colors is definitely the way to go for sure. Uh, even though when I used the squeeze lemonade and the wild honey, it, it did give some depth and definition, but adding that darker color and a little bit more down at the bottom there where you want that extra definition, that was definitely, definitely the way to go. So we're gonna move on and do a little bit of um, a tea dye and a kitsch flamingo. So yeah, look at that. How cool is that? I mean, it just, it looks, it looks good, right? I'm not just tooting my own horn here, am I? But that looks good, right? So we're gonna continue on with the rest of our tulips. And like I said, I had 15, 15 of them. So I was expecting to make a nice, nice, big, big bunch. And uh, I'm nearly finished here. And then we're gonna hop straight into the leaves. Uh, although we are gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning up first because, you know, we don't want pink leaves. Maybe for another, hmm, maybe for another project. That could be fun. Having like a rainbow of leaves and then maybe silvery tulips oh that would be cool okay right focus focus so for the leaves i have only used a uh, mowed lawn and uh, the reason for this is because it's quite a deep green so you can actually build up the the layer and the depth so you know to get that definition and you know where you want a little bit of light for highlights and some of the darker bits so look at that looks pretty good right a little bit pale maybe but you know we got like 
19 more to go so we're gonna get on it and I tried to kind of make sure that each one that I was doing if it was the same shape I was trying to uh, not make them all exactly the same although I mean I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking yeah girl you did not succeed there no you did not no no and uh doing the stems that way was a little bit tricky so that could maybe be a good thing to cut out of colored cardstock but now here we are all of our tulip heads colored all of our stems ready to go and uh, all our leaves but um yeah you're definitely gonna want to make sure you clean up your tools before you touch your flowers because i did not and i lost the pink tulip wah, wah. so yeah, not, not a happy bunny there. But um, to um, finish off the flowers, we are gonna add some of the stems. And you know, I'm not actually gonna be using the entire stem. So I am going to be gluing them on and then we're gonna leave them sitting aside for a little bit because you know, you're gonna wanna leave it to dry. And then we're gonna trim those, but we're going to make ourselves a nice little kind of house, tulip house of the leaves. Yeah, no, I'm talking nonsense now, but you know. So we're gonna put our uh, leaves together here and make a nice sort of big, not background, but you know, like a tulip house for the tulips to live in. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it does not always make sense. It sometimes it makes more sense in my head than it does in reality, but we're gonna build this up here onto the desk. And don't worry, we have a little trip, a uh, trip, the tip on how we're going to pick this up without actually messing this up too much. Now, you might have heard of press and seal. That is some good, good stuff. So now that I'm happy with my tulip pals or bunch, um, I'm using my press and seal to pick these up and you just press it down. It literally is called what, you know, it does what it says. You press down and then you seal it as in that you pick them up. So it is easy peasy. and you do not have to throw it out after every single use. You can reuse press and seal many, many times. This piece I have probably used a minimum 10 times already and it's still sticky. It's not as sticky, but it's still sticky enough to actually pick up those pieces. So don't throw it out until all that sort of stickiness is done. Now for my background here, I have used the gorgeous A2 Parisian cover plate to add texture to the background because I, I wanted a little something of texture and I'm so useless with white space, but I am working on it, I really am. So here, um, I, uh, I'm i gonna put this whole thing down so you actually see like how the press and seal works because it really is kind of genius, really, really good. So I'm adding my uh, liquid adhesive to the back of the leaves here and it, you're not gonna get all of the pieces in because obviously some of them are layering on top of each other but that is gonna give a really cool effect of kind of like a 3D look. Yes, yes, I know, just wait for it. It's, I mean, as far as crafting go, that's pretty cool, I'm gonna say, yeah. So uh, now that I've got a liquid adhesive onto my, my leaves here, we are just going to turn this over and again, we're gonna press and we're gonna seal that liquid adhesive that is on the back of those leaves. And then we're just gonna peel and reveal and everything is gonna stay where it's supposed to be. How cool is that? I mean, this is one of the greatest hacks for the craft room, for sure. And this is what I meant about not using the entire stem. So I, uh, uh, I'm i trimming them off to fit them in into my uh, like little, I'm gonna say tulip bunch, because tulip house sounds a little bit silly now, wasn't it? I mean, it was maybe fun for the first minute or two, but you know, let's, let's be serious crafters now, shall we? <laughs> so uh, yes, tucking all those tulips in, the ones with the stem, and then I'm also going to tuck in a few more sort of below that without stems to, you know, just kind of fill out the bunch a little bit. And I, I do like a nice big flower bunch, I really do. I, I can't lie, I like big flowers, yes. I used to be a florist, so uh, I really, really love a nice big, voluptuous flower bunch or bouquet. But this is um, our card now finished. So we just need a sentiment on this, but this is what I meant with the 3D look. So everything is now glued down like completely flat. So you get that little bit sort of a, uh, yeah, 3D look, you know? It just it brings the card to life even more, I would say. Now it did need a sentiment. So I have used the Have a Nice Day from the Hug in a Mug. 
and I stamped that up with Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide to kind of keep with the with the color scheme. And this, because the the bottom of that bunch is just so um, it's it's kind of bulky, so we're gonna put a little bit of foam tape on the back of the this round uh, sentiment thing, so that it kind of creates a little bit of um, almost like a vase, I guess. Oh, that's another idea. Okay, yeah, so next time I'm gonna make a vase. So with that being um, being put on that, that is it. I was toying with the idea of no bling or like, or adding bling, but I have gone no bling this time. <gasps> Are you shocked? I am so shocked, but yes, it just didn't really feel like it needed it. So there we have it. Have a nice day, have a bunch of flowers, nice big tulips. Um, yeah, so this is the, the nutter that is in called Erica. I will see you soon again, bye.